All right, so today we've got a out-of-box review of the E-Flight e -Flight Mini Ultra Stick. This is the plug-and-play version, and I've only opened the box once. It was like, oh, I'm just going to look in the box, just, you know, check it out. I didn't take anything out. One sec. And um, this is a pretty cool airplane. It's based on Hangar 9's Ultra Stick. Here it is. Just took the box cover off. There it is. Got your E Flight. What kind of servos are those? 9 gram? 9 gram EFLR 7110. Um, I was expecting maybe something like SV80s. Or uh, not SV80s, but uh, S75 or something. Got your manual. Some decals, it looks like, in there. Thunder Power, JR. It's probably Horizon Hobby and E Flight one back there, too. But uh, here's the wing. It's a very nice little wing. Wow, this is really light. Whoa. This is way. This is wicked light. I'm gonna have to take this out of the box or the packaging. Show you guys. Probably uh, this is a balsa airplane balsa and covering film. I'm not a weakling. It's got a nice colored top part. The wing, top part of the wing is very nice. Um, it's a wonderful smell. It smells like something's burning. A little bit, yeah. But, uh, here we go. There we go. This is so incredibly light, it's ridiculous. But, uh, I don't think I'm gonna need to use a heat gun or anything on this. I'm not saying I have one, because I don't. But, uh, there's the top part of the wing. Mini Ultra Stick. Sorry, that's upside down. Mini Ultra Stick. It's nice. And there's the bottom. It's transparent red, kind of. Um, there is a thing that you can do. Um, you can get the quad flaps, and I didn't go for those yet because I want to fly it normally. Yet, uh, normally. And I'm gonna assume this is where it goes because there's like kind of like a split right there on that spar. There's an empty spot, and the next spar there's nothing like that. Um, and there's what looks like servo holes for the ailerons. If I had to make a guess, then they look like the other ones. So and it comes with a Y harness, which is nice. Let's put that to the side. Um, you're gonna want, if you're gonna do the quad flaps, a uh, seven channel, that's what they recommend. And they say you're also gonna need a separate BEC. So here's the rest, right here. So you got your little goodies, your bag of tricks right here. Uh, looks like the, uh, the landing gear. That's what it looks like. Your landing gear. Your prop. Your prop stuff. Your prop adapter right there. Um, whatever that little black thing is, I don't know. It's probably like a tail wheel or something. Um, I'm not quite... Uh, it's probably uh, linkages. That's probably what that is. I don't know. But you got your vertical stabilizer, that's taped down. Sorry, I'm kind of like not looking through the camera. Looking at the stuff itself, myself. It's kind of small, but compared to the wing, it's not really that small. Uh, this covering film, you want to be kind of careful with it. Um. It can get hurt a little easier than foam, if you're used to foam. This is my first balsa and covering film kind of airplane. Anyway, Ooh, don't want to do that. But, uh, and it looks real nice, gotta say. It's 
way it looks way better than the foam airplanes, like Park Zone and stuff. I mean, not that Park Zone doesn't make bad uh, make bad airplanes. It's just this is awesome looking. I am definitely get oh I cannot. But, uh, yeah. There we go. So we got this out. Maybe, yeah, and uh, it's pretty nicely applied, I guess. I don't really know what to expect. But uh, there's your rudder. Here's your rudder. I found some, something is rubbing right there. So I might trim that. So here is... Elevator and horizontal stabilizer. It's nice looking. Let me get this out of the package. Probably should have done this with a uh, much Medini tripod, but it's a little late now. Uh, this is more or less a sport plane. I wouldn't classify this as a beginner airplane. Uh, it's really small. It's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. Um, just like fuselage and everything. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. Because it's classified as a park flyer. I fly in a giant butt park. In a crazy giant park. Or whatever. But, uh, there we go. Let's see if I can get this off of there. There you go, elevator. It's pretty good movement. You got a tail skid on there, I think you can see that. But, uh, and that's nice to size compared to that. And then there's the fuselage. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Oh, this is a bit heavier. Uh, these servos. The control arms are gigantic on these servos. You know, maybe it's just me. Sorry. Maybe it's just me, but those control arms look gigantic in proportion to those servos. But, uh, here we go. And the wingspan's 39 inches, just so you know. And uh, let's see if we can't get this fuse unpackaged. I'm not gonna try to unpack, I'm not gonna try to unpackage these little goodies. Because I know I'm never going to be able to do that. But, uh, where's, the, where's the front? Well, here's the front of the airplane. But it's all nicely covered and everything, I guess. I'm not really one to judge because I just like airplanes. You know, airplanes are nice, regardless of what airplane it is. You know, even an A6 or something is nice, even though it's pretty ugly. And people say it's ugly. But, uh... It's a very nice looking airplane, I have to say. Compared to foam airplanes, it's awesome. Like a possum. And your battery hatch is right somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I've got no clue. I think it's right here. Yeah, strong, strong magnets. It's your battery compartment. See that? Yeah, you can see that. Um, they recommend a 2100 milliamp battery. This is an E Flight 22 amp brushless B uh, ESC. It has a BEC in it. If you're going to use the. Does have the right connector on? Right. Yeah. If you're going to use the recommended. Uh, battery. I've got two batteries. I got the Parkstone battery, which fits in here. Good question mark. Uh, you know, I don't know how it's supposed to fit in there. Just like I don't know. I've got no idea. I've got no clue. Guess it just fits in there like that. But it doesn't really seem that secure to me. So I'll probably put like a hook and loop strap in there or something. It doesn't really look that secure. 
just hanging in there. But uh, this motor feels like it's got good magnets. 890 kV. ESC looks good, everything looks good. So that concludes our out of box review. Let me give you guys a better view because I know my camera skills suck. But uh, there it is ESC. All the wires, I'm going to be using that battery and uh, whatever that Venom battery. Servos, serve rows, serve rows, and we are good. So, thanks for watching. Uh, go out and pick yourself, pick up yourself one of these as soon as possible. This was $189.99 at my local hobby shop. Um, I thought, although I bought it at Hobby Town USA. Although I think like with for everything, like with tax and all that stuff, it was 204 and I had a discount. Thank God. And it was um, 188 less than advertised. So thanks for watching and goodbye.